because your true nature is vastly different than the people around you, than the family you were born into. Because everything that you have done outside of your nature just felt different. It felt off. It felt like something that you didn't want to do because it was outside of your true nature. And you've had moments in your life where you were forced to do things that were really outside of your nature and you didn't understand why you felt so funny doing it. And it's okay if in your true nature that you choose differently, that you think differently, that you don't want to do what everyone else is doing. If celibacy and purity and abstinence is in your true nature, then do not allow someone that is more lustful and sexual and promiscuous in their nature to try to convince you to be like them when you're not like them. They can't understand why you choose to be celibate because they're the opposite. They're promiscuous. They're sexual. While you can't understand why they want to be so sexual and promiscuous because you are celibate. You are pure. You don't want to give your body away to people. You never did. You never wanted to. But you had other people around you, bad influences of people around you that tricked you and, and manipulated you into thinking that you had to do something that was outside of your nature just to fit in or to be cool or to be accepted or to have their approval. But at what expense? At the expense of your soul, at your peace, at your mental health, at your pain, at, at your trauma? Where you allowing other people to influence you and to be a bad influence over you to where you've done things that you didn't want to do because of the peer pressure of these fake friends and fake family members around you has now caused you trauma and you pain that you are healing from and you're now learning that it's best for you to just listen to your own intuition and to just trust yourself and to not do something just because others tell you to or manipulate you into doing but whatever is in your true nature continue to do that because that's going to bring you peace that's going to make all of the difference you are not defined by your past you are not defined by moments in your life where you did things that was not of your true nature you are not defined by a mistake that you made that one night when someone violated you. When someone took advantage of your free will, when they violated you, violated your body, they violated your spirit. In their free will, that is what they chose to do to you. You are a victim of the circumstance. Even if your soul was rejecting what was happening. Your flesh was acting because your flesh was acting off of your dysregulated nervous system. And when a nervous system is dysregulated and they are in danger and they sense danger, your nervous system is going to go to the default response that it feels it needs to go through that your nervous system feels is the safest option. And let me tell you this, in that moment or in other moments, you felt your nervous system, your dysregulated nervous system felt that flight, fleeing or fight, fighting was not the safest option for you. You did not feel safe to fight. You didn't feel it was safe to flight. And you also felt it wasn't safe to freeze. So the safest option you, your nervous system thought was safest to protect you 
was fond. That's why you fond. Because you mentally you didn't want to. Emotionally you didn't want to. On a soul level you didn't want to. Consciously you didn't want to. But if our mind is 90% subconscious and if your subconscious mind is aligned with your dysregulated nervous system that can cause your flesh to act on things that your flesh doesn't want to that you really don't want to do your flesh doesn't want to do it but your flesh will do it if it means to protect you and sometimes your flesh will do things that actually cause you more damage and more harm while it's thinking that it's protecting you because your nervous system is so dysregulated because of how much trauma you had been through and putting a person that has already been through a lot of traumatic situations and a very dysregulated nervous system putting a person like that in an abusive situation in a traumatic situation the odds of them coming out of that safe are very slim but the odds of them coming out of that traumatized re-traumatized are very fair Because if you're placing a person that does not have the tools and resources to be able to make sure that harm and damage is not caused when they're operating from a body that is not strong enough to, a nervous system that isn't strong enough to, people are bound to get re-traumatized and bound to be hurt. That's why you see a lot of SA victims have been SA'd multiple times. Let me give you this analogy to help paint a picture. Let's look at a car. If a car has a very messed up transmission, like that transmission is bad, it's going out. And for those of you that know cars, you understand what I'm talking about. If you have a car that has a messed up failing transmission and you try to take that car on the expressway and to drive or if it's not on the expressway or to drive on a long a long back road and travel a very long distance trying to put that car with a fail a failing transmission on the to drive long distance on a back road or to drive on the expressway where it has to t pick up a lot of speed, that car is not gonna make it. That car is gonna wind up breaking down before you get to your destination. That car is gonna wind up slowing down on you and stalling on you to a point where you have to pull over and you have to stop, you're stopping your tracks now because you're unable to go from point A to point B because you're operating from a car that will not suffice what you're trying to, what you're trying to do here. So if you wouldn't put a car with a failing transmission out on the expressway because the car could shut down on you and you could be stranded and next that's dangerous when you got a lot of flying cars coming past you, or you're just out there stranded on a dark, on a, just a back road. Sometimes it's hard to get a signal in places like that. You could be left stranded. It's because you wouldn't put a car with a filling transmission out there because damage can be done. So what you do instead is you take a car that doesn't have a failing transmission to go from point A to point B. So for, for you, with your dysregulated nervous system, putting you in a traumatic situation and expecting you to come out of that, not being traumatized or responding differently to save yourself, your nervous system was not fully equipped to be able to do that at the time. So you had to take your car to the shop and go get a new transmission. You had to take yourself into hermit mode and to heal those wounds and to heal your soul and to get stronger and turn that pain into power so that you have a more regulated nervous system. People use your dysregulated nervous system against you and that's how they were able to overpower you. But you are not defined by what happened because of your dysregulated nervous system and the actions that you fawned in taking by predatory people.